Bairnsdale Regional Health Service and Ambulance Victoria will work together to undertake a full investigation into the circumstances surrounding his, the spokesman said. Simon Judkins, an emergency physician who works in hospitals in Melbourne and regional Victoria, said patients were coming to harm due to delays in receiving critical medical care at rural hospitals. It is unfathomable at the moment how awful it is with the delays in care and the ramping at regional hospitals, he said. Judkins said regional hospital staff were struggling to secure intensive care beds at Melbourne hospitals when they attempt to transfer seriously ill patients who require higher levels of critical care than a small hospital can provide. Loading in some hospitals, staff were working hours of overtime to keep patients alive until an intensive care bed could be found in Melbourne. The transfer service does a fantastic job to try and find beds, but the issue is often there are no ICU beds available in Metro Melbourne, Judkins, who sits on the Victorian branch of the Australian Medical Association, said. The ability to admit people in the grips of mental health crisis into a hospital bed was now almost impossible in rural areas, Judkins said. Rural Doctors Association of Victoria President Rob Fair said the at the Bairnsdale Hospital was a reflection of what happens when you have a system that is being completely overwhelmed. The staff are doing their absolute best, but there is no capacity, so you don't have enough beds in the emergency department, you don't have enough nurses to provide observation for these patients, Fair, who is a Bairnsdale GP and provides emergency and anaesthetic services at the hospital, said. You don't have anywhere to put these patients. You've only got a limited number of doctors and no beds on the ward to admit them to. Without wanting to comment on the particulars of the man's, Fair said the challenges faced by the Bairnsdale Regional Health Service were indicative of the experience inside every regional hospital in Victoria, where locum doctors made up to 70% of staff. This is a system-wide problem and if you spoke to doctors at Shepparton, Mildura, Turalgon or any regional EDS emergency departments, they would all have similar stories, he said. He said it was not uncommon for staff to be treating patients in the corridors of rural hospitals when no beds were available, or outside in ambulance bays. Recently, Albury Wodonga Health was forced to declare a code yellow after staff struggled to treat hundreds of patients in emergency departments on both sides of the border. Fair said the healthcare system continued to be skewed against rural hospitals where services had long struggled to entice staff a situation only worsened by the pandemic. A big part of the problem is staffing and we need a cultural change where the most disadvantaged communities and populations with the worst health outcomes, like Mildura, Shepparton and Bairnsdale, are given priority and the best industrial arrangements are given those healthcare workers, he said. Fair joined calls by emergency health workers who are demanding widespread system reforms to address chronic hospital bed and staffing shortages, a key cause of ambulance ramping. The case at Bairnsdale Hospital is the latest potentially preventable to emerge from delays in receiving care in the state's strained healthcare system. It followed revelations earlier this year that at least 12 people from critical injuries or illness after calls to Victoria's 000 service were never answered or were picked up too late. The patients also comes less than a fortnight after senior doctors and nurses told the age that emergency department overcrowding was the worst it has been in years and leading to waits of up to 12 hours just to be seen.